hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so finally i am recording my business related video i did a poll on my instagram a few weeks ago asking did anyone want to see a fitness related video or a business related video and i got 50 50 so i decided to do both so today i'm going to be doing a business related video which is how to start your own business and a few easy steps I'm going to be doing a business series. Um, it's gonna be called Lex Talks Business. So if anyone doesn't know, my name is Alexis, so Lex Talks Business. And it's gonna be Lex Talks Business, starting your own business. So this is gonna be the first video of that series. Um, so before I get into it, I just wanna say a disclaimer that these are the steps that I chose to take when starting my business. I'm not saying this is you know, the correct way to do so. This is just what I did for me and what worked for my business so I hope that this can be you know a guide and it can help you if you don't know where to start or you just want to know you know how to start your own business so yeah before I jump into it I do want to say um, you know what my business is what business that I started so in September of 2019 I launched my own women's fashion boutique it is an online business um, and I formed that business in July of 2019 meaning I formed my LLC for my business so yeah I'll have all of the information down below you know my business which is Lex Lux boutique domain name is Lex lux.com so you can check that out so this is also a two-piece set for my store it's velour sweat set I'll model it for you guys a little bit so it's just a two-piece set it has I'll move this out of the way. just a little cropped hoodie and then some high waist pants very comfy super cute dress up and down now I have to do a little business plug in there but yes so yeah I'll go ahead and link that down below we're also doing a huge 50% off sale because I'm coming out with a spring collection which I'm so excited about so I just wanted to do a huge sale to just clear out some inventory make room for new inventory and yeah so enough about you know my business I want to tell you guys how I started and what you can do to start your own business so if you guys want to learn how to start your own business then just keep watching Okay, so I have five steps, so it's nothing too crazy. It's five simple steps in starting your own business. So step one, also if you see me looking down, it's because I have some notes down so I can stay on track and not you know, go, go all over the place. But so step one, so this is gonna be a two part step. So one part A, step one part B. So step one part A is figuring out what business you you know want to start, what you wanna go into. Um, I'm sure that if you've clicked on this video, you kind of already know what business you want to jump into. So that's good. At least you got a you know starting point. But I just want to say, and you know, people might not agree with this, but this is just how I feel. I feel like the business that you're deciding to go into, I think you need to be passionate about it. Um, you need to believe in this business. And I just feel that way because I feel like if you're not passionate, you're not going to put in the work that needs to be done. You're not gonna do as much research as you probably should do, um, and you're not gonna work as hard, you know, in in creating this business and making this business thrive. I feel like if you're passionate, it's gonna be transparent. Your customers are gonna know that. Other people around you are going to see that. You're going to put the work in that you need to put in to make your business thrive, to make your business work, and to make it, you know, go wherever you want your business to go. Um, you're gonna treat this business as your baby because it is you should be nervous about it You should be anxious. You should be excited. You should be so many different things So that's step one part a is figuring out what business you would like to go into so part B is Coming up with a business name and in my opinion, this is the hardest part Well, it was for me figuring out, you know your business name because if you really think about it There's there's a few factors that goes into coming up with a business name one being, is this a name that you're gonna be satisfied with 10 years down the line, um, five years down the line, even two years down the line? Or is this a business name that's gonna be easy to remember? Is it catchy? Is it easy to pronounce? Like there's so many different things that goes into creating a business name. You can't just, I mean you can, but I don't know. There's just things that I feel like you need to consider prior to coming up with that name. Um, that brings us to step two. 
So step two is making sure the name is available. So you want to make sure this name has not already been registered, you know, as a business or just to someone else. You want to go on irs.gov, type in that entity and figure out if that business is registered or is that business name already taken. If not perfect, you want to move on to figuring out your domain name. Um, is that name taken? With that being said, you also want to make sure this name is available on all platforms, all social media platforms. Is it available on Facebook? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever you know you want to use, whatever platform you decide to use for your business to promote your business, you want to make sure that name has not already been taken. And if so, then you want to make sure you come up with a name that's very close. So my name on Instagram is Lex Lux Boutique. I don't want to then create a Twitter name that's like Lux Boutique or Lex Boutique. Like it needs to be cohesive. It needs to be easy for your customers to find your pages. Um, so next step is going to be step three, which is registering your business. So you can go on irs.gov, register your business, follow all those steps, and then boom, it's it's really easy. Like it takes you know not that long. It's not a long process at all. So you can go ahead and register your business on irs.gov. All right, so that brings us to step four, which is applying for your EIN number, which is your employee identification number. This is the number that you're going to be using for all tax related things. And also, if you're getting into, you know, a business that I'm in, like an online fashion boutique, you will need an EIN number to purchase your clothing from vendors, from legitimate vendors. I'm not talking about just some, you know, crazy random vendors that you just found. I'm talking about legitimate vendors. You will need an EIN number, which also brings me to my next step, which is step five. This step is optional based off of your business. Um, if you're, you know, deciding to open your own boutique, you need to make sure you apply for your seller's permit. Um, again, do your research, do your research for your state, see what your state requirements are for seller's permit, what the steps are in getting your seller's permit. Um, I'm based in New Jersey, so I had to research all of New Jersey requirements for registering my business, for applying, you know, for my EIM, for seller's permit, all of that, because when I started my business, I had no clue. This is something that was new to me, so I had to do tons and tons of research. If I can recommend one thing, it is to do your research. And this is why I'm creating these videos, and this is why I wanted to do this series, because I want to help other women, you know, start their businesses and I'm hoping that this video will help you and will guide you in doing so if you have no clue where to begin because there isn't, you know, a crazy amount of videos out there that is specifically geared towards, you know, a boutique. So that is step five is getting your seller's permit. So it wasn't really hard. I feel like a lot of people don't start businesses because they think it's so hard to do. The process is hard and it's not. It's really easy to be honest. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much all the steps. So again, I'll just reiterate, it is figuring out what business you want to go into. Remember to really, really think about whether you are passionate about that business. Um, are you going to be able to put the time in and the work to make your business successful? Um, step two, coming up with that business name, making sure it's easy to remember for your customers, making sure it's catchy and making sure, well, most importantly, making sure it is a name that you are going to be happy with years down the line. Next step was making sure your name is available, making sure it's not already registered and making sure it's available on all platforms, all social media platforms, and as well as your domain name making sure that is available. Next step was registering your business, irs.gov, go follow the steps, you know, applying for your EIN and getting that seller's permit. Also, I'm not gonna talk too much into this, but at some point, you know, when you are registering your business, you are gonna have to register that as an LLC, um, sole proprietorship, S Corp, you know, whatever. Um, I decided to do an LLC. That was just what fit my business and what worked well for me. But again, do your research ask you know an accountant or a tax preparer what they think is going to be best for your business and i'm going to go ahead and answer some questions okay so the first question is how can i start to grow a following without solely using my personal page to promote it so this one's kind of hard because i'm actually still trying to figure this out myself Obviously with the whole change of Instagram and their algorithm and it's making it very very hard for small businesses and new businesses to be noticed. Yes, using your personal page will help. However, 
do I feel like you need to, you know, use your personal page to promote your business? No, I just feel like as long as you're consistent and you know, you come up with your own aesthetic, people like your aesthetic and you're just consistently posting and also paid promotions. Like I know they suck and it sucks having to pay, but that's marketing and you need to pay for promotions. You need to find ways to get your business out there. Be consistent, post, post, quality content and just you know stick with it and don't be discouraged if you don't get a hundred plus followers overnight like it takes time but you know just stick with it and be consistent so the next question is what kind of business do you recommend um i can't really recommend a business um, all i can really say is get into a business that you feel like is going to be profitable and you are passionate about so the next question is um, how to negotiate with vendors. So this is a good question because I've actually haven't had to negotiate with vendors as of yet. I'm sure that I will, you know, later down the line, but as of yet, I haven't had to. But what I will say is to make connections, network and make connections. That's something that I have done so far. Um, I say, you know, get their email address, email back and forth, ask for, you know, certain things. It will help you and they will remember, you know, your business. They will remember you. And I feel like they will be more inclined to help you, you know, in the long run when you need it. Another question is, do you think it's necessary to have licensing and trademarks before making any profit? Um, yes and no. I guess no because it really depends on, you know, what business you're going into. I don't think that you need licensing for every business that you're going into. Um, for the business that I'm in for, you know, owning a online fashion boutique, yes, I do feel like you, you need a license. You need a license to operate your business. You need um, your permits, so you need a seller's permit to even purchase anything. I'm sure you can purchase things without one um, off of, you know, random sites and things like that but for me I wanted to do things legally and I wanted to make sure that I had licensing and permits to back my business up your business is a little bit more legit when you have you know licensing and permits and things like that as far as a trademark um, I don't think that is necessary to start with I mean I'm sure later down the line if your business you know becomes huge and you decide you want to trademark the name then go ahead but as of you know just starting out no but i do yes i do believe that you need your business registered you need to have your permit and everything else that you need to operate your business so the next question is how did you go about finding good vendors and turning it into your own brand so this is extremely hard it still is extremely hard um i am based in new jersey so the closest fashion district to me would be New York, which is still not, I mean, it's its not far, but it's not crazy close. But um, yeah, I don't live close to vendors. So a lot of my online shopping for, you know, my boutique had to be online. So um, I recommend reviews, 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 read all reviews. That will tell you, you know, whether the quality is good, you know, what that vendor is about and you know sizing everything everything that you can't do you know over the computer screen um if you're able i do suggest to take a trip to a fashion district um, i know la fashion district is crazy huge and they have so many different vendors so if you can do that that's amazing i do recommend it um for me just starting out i was not able to do that so it took a long long time to choose the pieces that i wanted to choose for my boutique i wanted quality pieces this is representing me it's representing my brand so i did not want to come out with clothing that was you know cheaply made or the quality wasn't there like i really wanted to make sure what i put out was something that i would wear the quality that i would wear and you know was good pieces so ask questions as well ask what certain pieces are made of and because sometimes you know you'll shop for a piece and it doesn't tell you what that product is made of so ask the question you know email that vendor send a message and ask is it double layered is it like you need to ask these questions because you're unable to feel that product um, in person so yes yeah, so reviews heavily rely on reviews so that is all of the questions i don't want to answer too many because again i don't want to make this video too long 
but yeah i hope you guys you know enjoy this video i hope this video was helpful you know in creating your own business or just giving you a place to start hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight on what it's like in starting your own business and yeah so i'm not exactly sure what video i'm going to be doing next for this series so, so if you guys want a certain video or you want me to talk about a certain topic please comment that down below that sums up the first video of my new business series lex talks business if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yes just stay tuned for what's to come